Prophet Muhammad share with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, uh, renewable uh, energies for hybrid power systems. Uh, first of all, you have to specify your folder of uh, uh, your destination folder or your working folder. Go to your drive and try to seek your folder. Uh, my folder is here. I think it's hybrid. Uh, yes, hybrid uh, power systems for uh, hybrid power for standalone systems. Okay, this is our main folder. We have uh, two models. Uh, um, single point, uh, single uh, or zero time uh, uh, model and dynamic model, uh, which is uh, varying with time. Let's go for here and trying to open double clicking or your model. Don't forget to uh, sort by name and group by type in order to organize your folder and um, make it easy for you. And um, Let's run our model. We, are, uh, we have to wait. Okay, this is our main model. Uh, what is the idea behind such system? Uh, the idea behind the hybrid power system is, or standalone system, is to um, make your study, make your own study about uh, if I have a, a specific load on uh, uh, what is the design limitations. Uh, uh, for me, uh, or what is my uh, consideration uh, uh, to be taken in order to uh, design my uh, power source for my load? Your load is suppose it's your house, your home, your machine, whatever, your factory. Anyway, uh, okay, what we have here, we have here, uh, as you can see here, let's go here, okay. We have a, a horizontal wind turbine, okay, and vertical wind turbine, a photovoltaic system, a design, uh, I'm sorry, a diesel generator, and uh, uh, concentrated solar gas uh, engine or solar dish engine. This model is uh, quite interesting because um, it can address more than uh, 12 uh, working gases diatomic gas gases, monatomic gases, polyatomic gases and um, it's designed for uh, two types of engines Brighton cycle and uh, thermodynamic of course the Brighton cycle and a Stirling uh, cycle okay uh, this is your load you can control your load from here okay you can control your load of course manually so you can uh, go here just emphasize okay this is your uh, load you can control it suppose you need uh, five uh, thousand um, uh, uh, megawatts okay and this is your control room so you can uh, you can serve between uh, different types of power generation such as photovoltaic horizontal wind turbine photovoltaic uh, vertical wind turbine photovoltaic load with diesel generator in case um, a power shortage or recovery and um, concentrated solar gas engine and main grid load suppose you are going to discover uh, you are attached your your model um, directly to the main grid so uh, what is your um, uh, cost analysis or results or design uh, whatever you can assign your uh, plant lifetime uh, interest rate and uh, your design um, if I am going for uh, photovoltaic horizontal wind turbine so you can uh, select the load between um, uh, equally between uh, photovoltaic or horizontal wind turbine or photovoltaic and vertical or photovoltaic and uh, diesel generator so uh, this is some kind of uh, splitting or um, control room so um, going to zero means um, uh, full load on um, on photovoltaic. Going to one means uh, 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 going full load on uh, horizontal or vertical or diesel generator. And you can address what is the best or optimized percentage between uh, post types. Uh, is it 
uh, equally uh, between post types, poor uh, devices, poor plans for four plans, or uh, it's 60% for um, for diesel generator load, 60% load on diesel generator, and 40% load on uh, photovoltaic. It's up to you. Suppose I'm going for 50% for uh, uh, photovoltaic and uh, horizontal wind turbine. Click apply. Okay, and you can uh, assign your um, input data for horizontal. If I'm going to work horizontal and photovoltaic, you have to assign some inputs such as what is your module uh, power? Uh, you are going to use 100 kilowatt. The beginning of horizontal wind turbines from uh, 0.5 um, kilowatt up to uh, 8,000 kilowatts of power. So suppose I'm I'm going to use uh, 100 uh, kilowatt module power, okay. And for photovoltaic system, you can choose between uh, or select between kilowatt hour per square meter or watt per meter square. I am choosing watt per meter square, okay. And click, okay. You can save your results and let's run our results at zero time, okay. At 5,000 uh, uh, kilowatt of power, uh, what is our results? We have to uh, concentrate or focus on horizontal and uh, photovoltaic. As you can see here, the rest are zero. As you can see, vertical, no power load on uh, vertical on turbine, no power load on diesel generator, no power load on um, a gas a, a concentrated dish or a mingle. So we are now connected, fully connected to the power, to the uh, horizontal wind turbine and photovoltaic system. As you can see here, we do, we have divided uh, the road between both uh, plants. So you can, if you go inside, you will discover. You are able to discover. Let's go for horizontal farm. As you can see, this is total farm area, number of wind turbine. Uh, what is your power coefficient? You discover starting with the speed, average wind speed, rotor diameter. This is per module, and this is uh, for uh, total plant costs. Okay, turbine cost and total plant cost, as you can see here. So, and the same for uh, photovoltaic. Let's go for photovoltaic. If you double click on what per meter square, you, you have to choose operating hours. What is your solar uh, radiation? Um, you can attach a uh, um, signal builder to solar radiation and you can attach uh, our solar radiation model we have demonstrated this before or showed this before uh, for design you can choose what is your module type battery efficiency battery storage and cost and based on your uh, this minor specification you can discover from photovoltaic as you can see here you discover more and more uh, open circuit for voltage, short circuit current, maximum voltage and current, uh, module efficiency, um, uh, uh, cell efficiency, number of, this is your total area, as you can see here. This is your total area in order to generate, um, in order to generate uh, uh, um, 2,500, nearly 2,500 kilowatts of power uh, load on let's go for the control room let's go inside this uh, spirator and uh, cost control room let's go inside and you you will find the following uh, there is no uh, any cost for diesel generator or uh, sterling gas engine or vertical just just photovoltaic costs uh, um, our yearly costs and uh, horizontal wind turbine costs just because we we have chosen choose this um we have choose this uh, two types only two types and the rest are zero so uh, this is your annual total costs as you can see here this is your annual total costs okay uh, based on your case uh, suppose i am going to to select another or different uh, let's go for uh, 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 um, uh, concentrated solar gas engine okay let's okay there is no meaning for that because this is between uh, uh, photovoltaic and horizontal wind turbine or vertical or diesel generator there's no meaning to um, there's there's no effect um, 
uh, on uh, or from uh, coming from the uh, the changing uh, on the splitter room, um, you will not feeling any effect from this because the full load uh, is on uh, concentrated solar gas engine. Let's run, hit run, and see our results. So the AC will, will turn it off, and okay, there is no result for horizontal and no result for photovoltaic, and you will find the full load is on uh, concentrated solar gas energy. So if you go inside here. But first, you have to double clicking here and select your engine type. What is your engine type? Sterling or Brighton? What is your gas? Uh, uh, is it uh, air or CO2? Uh, uh, you have 12 gases to deal with. Impressive. Top cycle temperature, source and sink temperatures, okay. And uh, rim angle of the dish, some design, operating conditions, operating hours, solar radiation, Atmospheric pressure and temperature, sterling engine. Uh, what is your sterling engine power? Because there is here in, in, in the, in the foc focal uh, point, um, there is around five or four engines here. So, what is your uh, uh, single engine uh, power, sterling engine, based on diameter and running speed? Brighter engine, okay, if you are going to run uh, based on brighter engine performance. Uh, what is your mirror ref uh, reflectance? You can choose uh, material of your mirror, uh, absorptivity and uh, uh, generator efficiency and so on. What is your cost? Uh, some cost design. You can edit all of this. You can change based on your uh, uh, design model. If you go inside, you have to choose uh, selling industry. You will discover this area, this diameter, uh, this height, uh, receiver area, and uh, what is your total area here okay yeah, this is total plant area okay and therefore you can discover your costs what is your costs here okay and um, uh, of course for engine number of dishes um, uh, uh, stealing efficiency total blend efficiency uh, compression ratio pressure ratios volumes specific volume pressures temperature and thermodynamic analysis if you would like uh, to discover Okay, so uh, you can run this dynamically by your, um, uh, suppose I, I will set my simulation time into infinity. Okay, and uh, let's hit run and see if I try to change some uh, manually, I mean manually. Uh, okay, I'll change the power. Okay, selecting the power as you can see here. Okay, increasing the power load on concentric solar gas engine. Suppose I would like to go for uh, main grid, main grid, hit apply, okay, and I will find, you will find your results on uh, the main grid, as you can see here, this is your main grid power, okay, and let's hit, you. okay, suppose I am going to, uh, in dynamic mode, um, that's completely different, let's uh, close this one, okay, this is manual, Let's go dynamically. Okay, double clicking. You you'll find your uh, output data. It it can be stored stored here, as you can see here. Uh, you can store you, uh, choose your output here from here also. You can discover more. Okay, this is dynamic mode. Uh, it's the same, but let's run our model uh, based on um, 24 hours, changing uh, uh, the load on. Uh, uh, on um, the load of uh, the, uh, on, on the power resources, as you can see, power sources. Um, let's go for uh, splitter unit and see our limitations. Okay, um, I have to click here. Okay, okay. You can choose. You can select between. Um, uh, there is some kind of changes here, so you can uh, select uh, um, between. A full um, load on photovoltaic or as as do we demonstrated uh, previously in previous model you can select the load uh, if is it full on on uh, photovoltaic or if uh, is it full on um, diesel generator or uh, horizontal wind turbine or uh, uh, vertical wind turbine but we have here some limitations you can you can change this of course 
uh, suppose I have upper limits based on my uh, design. The upper limits of power, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, 5,000 kilowatt or 5 million. Okay, and the medium limit of power is uh, 3,000 uh, kilowatts of power, and the lower limit is lower than uh, uh, one uh, megawatt. For for one megawatt, we we can operate diesel generator and uh, a vertical wind turbine, and for medium range, we can uh, control uh, 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 main grid uh, or uh, photovoltaic and. Uh, uh, horizontal wind turbine and concentrated solar gradients. And for upper than 5,000, surely we have to uh, operate uh, as a main grid. Okay, set your inputs, of course, for, for each unit. You can set your inputs, you can select, you can, for this generator also, you can control some inputs. Is it uh, two stroke or four stroke? It's up to you. Number of cylinders. Uh, bore, stroke, what is your indicated power, uh, pressure, I'm sorry, uh, performance, what is your mechanical efficiency and uh, volumetric efficiency, uh, fuel, uh, air to fuel ratio, uh, what is your what is your calorific value, is it uh, diesel or, uh, or ga ga natural gas or whatever, air and uh, temperature, uh, air pressure and temperatures. Okay, and uh, in your grid, you can specify only your uh, power cost. What is your power cost in your country or your uh, in your lo location? And you can save here. And let's hit on and see. Uh, around uh, 24 hours, along 24 hour, uh, hours, and I, I would like to change uh, the power. Okay, based on one megawatt, as you can see here, one megawatt. We are running on uh, concentrated solar gas engine and photovoltaic. Suppose I am going to increase the power, increasing. So as you can see here, there is some kind of increase. Now we are running on concentrated solar gas engine and horizontal wind turbine. Uh, I am continuing increasing the load, increasing the load. So I am now on uh, fully running on uh, the main grid because I am going up than five thousand. A kilowatt of power as you can see here running on the main grid as you can, okay and let's head back again in order to uh, see uh, reducing the power as you can see here reducing the power uh, now i am on horizontal and uh, so gas engine now i am on uh, a pv and now i am on uh, vertical wind turbine and diesel generator because it's only 500 uh, kilowatt of power or or 400 kil uh, kilowatt of power. Okay, it stopped uh, after 24 hours. Let's inspect our results and uh, we are going to discover more and more. Let's go here and uh, see uh, what we have done here. Okay, 400 wood turbine power, and as you can see, power fluctuating, and uh, and this is your vertical wind turbine power, and uh, photovoltaic, a diesel generator. Okay, let's make diesel generator. Okay, load on diesel generator. I, I will put diesel generator with uh, with horizontal wind turbine here. Okay. And uh, we have here concentrated solar gas engine. Okay, we can put it with uh, horizontal wind turbine in order to compare uh, because they are in uh, both are in the same category. Uh, main grid power, as you can see here, main grid. We can compare against uh, photovoltaic. We can compare against horizontal wind turbine. We can compare against uh, gas engine. And uh, number of horizontal wind turbine, uh, uh, you can discover many many parameters. Uh, suppose uh, uh, costs, uh, vertical wind turbine costs, photovoltaic total costs, and um, horizontal wind turbine total costs. And what is our uh, yearly or annual total costs? This is your annual total costs. And let's go for. Uh, uh, sorry, let's go for total uh, photovoltaic area, for example. I'm seeking uh, 
let's go for total system area yes for photovoltaic this is total system area battery storage uh, battery ampere hour and uh, uh, a number of, uh, of blades or, or modules okay and total area okay and consider uh, solar gas engine uh, costs and diesel engine costs okay so we have dynamic model here we can sure you can use uh, MATLAB capabilities in order to send your figures to uh, uh, figure probability uh, pay, uh, uh, um, space in order to remove or delete or or change the colors or you can do all of this uh, stuff and let's go here um, okay so we have dynamic model you, you can uh, I'm sorry, okay this is your uh, uh, figures so you have to you can handle handle all of this here you can change uh, color type or uh, line shape or something like this let's close this one okay um, it's up to you you can discover your uh, cost analysis okay um, you can discover cost zero means that you are not uh, 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 this type is not in uh, operational mode uh, because this is uh, f um, only uh, diesel generator and vertical wind turbine costs and this is your annual total cost uh, you can select um, uh, one type to work on you can select uh, many uh, uh, many uh, type of energy or hybrid energy uh, sources of or source of power in order to uh, cover your load and um, it become very easy to you in order, uh, and uh, to uh, drive out which most uh, uh, optimized system to be handled based on a specific load or variable load or variable load with time or variable load uh, uh, with a specific um, uh, time um, it become uh, so easy for you. Uh, finally, I would like to uh, thank you very much for your attention in uh, uh, our model. Don't forget to uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you uh, very much.